Hello everyone, this is Ray Space, and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In the comments to the previous video, which was a super heavy applications program video, Eric Popcorn suggested, can you make a tiny one effectively a Falcon 1 but sized for Raptor? And, well, that's not a super heavy applications program thing, nor is it particularly interesting by my standards. I mean, it's just a regular rocket then, and I could even tell you how it's going to do without even trying it. But, but, it did give me an idea. Uh, so, uh, Eric Popcorn followed up with, uh, could go full Autrag with, and cluster 33 of them? Uh, no, we're not gonna do that. Uh, what we are going to ponder is the use of a single raptor in a single stage to orbit system. And this isn't exactly single stage to orbit. The problem is actually the heat shield. If I took off the heat shield, let's let's just take this bit off and just went like that. Well, that's pretty much a single stage to orbit system. And we're not using too fancy a tank. It's aluminum lithium grid tanks. And I did have the gap in there for the engine Although probably the engine would have to hang out. The issue is that if we really want this to be a nice system, we would want a heat shield at the bottom with a trap door and uh, sort of launch it like that and have the whole thing be recoverable. That would be ideal. The issue is that, of course, the heat shield at the bottom is way too heavy to allow this to be a recoverable system like that, not with one Raptor. Maybe with some other configuration we could consider. But for now, uh, I'm just going with it having a separate service module here and just the capsule coming down and the one Raptor being disposable. So with that, we get 8,400 meters per second, which as far as getting to orbit is sort of a question mark. It depends on how much juice we get out of this, which is just fueling RCS thrusters. We don't have any delta V reading right now, but it's definitely at least 400 meters per second. So that's the thing. Uh, let, let's see how it goes and then work from there. But we have a parachute on. We don't have any power right now. We deal with that separately. Uh, this little container is still only being used to 30% utilization. So this is your sort of typical service module deal. And yeah, uh, you probably weren't thinking of it like this, Eric Popcorn. But here we go, I've called it the Raptor Cone. Now, technically, since this is no longer being reusable, I don't have a heat shield at the bottom with a little trap door in it for the engine, uh, it shouldn't be a cone, it could just be a rocket. But uh, let's take it outside and see how we do. Well, it's really being held up high there. Some of you will be thinking about what if we use a Raptor vacuum, it can light in on the ground after all. Uh, and some of you will be thinking of slapping just little boosters on to help it out. Yes, I know. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll get to those things potentially. But this is just a novel concept. This is just the normal Mark 1-3 command pod uh, as modified by Realism Overhaul, which means it's 4 meters and it's about 4 tons without the service module and the heat shield. With the service module and heat shield, it's about, and the parachute, it's about 6 tons. So big difference there. And considering we're 211 tons, I mean, if it could get 6 tons to orbit, that would be great, but I don't think it can as a single stage to orbit system. Anyway, ignition, and go. So it can carry 3 passengers, because that's what the Mark 1-3 pod can do. What we really need is a raptor spike or something. Since this could be made into a straight stage, obviously it's getting more dragged than it ought to being a cone like this. So that's not good. Might want to turn down the gimbling too. I don't think it needs that much. Oh, but it has no roll control without the RCS thrusters on. <laughs> that that could be a problem. Maybe two raptors would be good. Okay, well we can't make it. Let me try a somewhat steeper launch there. We are getting too much drag. I think we're gonna need to go to two raptors for this idea to work. Of course we could have a smaller pod, but they hardly launch anything with less than three people nowadays, so... 
and small payloads bore me. Really, we shouldn't have the parachute like this. We should have a docking port, a launch escape system, and then... But do you really... I mean, isn't this just one big launch escape system? Uh, but yeah, definitely a docking port covered up, and then the parachutes on the side would be a better idea. Because we at least wanted to get to the st space station. Anyway, one more time with this, but we're probably going to have to make some changes. It's just got too much drag. Okay, ignition. And launch. And more straight up. So yeah, Raptor would probably have to stick out a bit, not be flush like this. And that's because it's really tough to pump the fuel up into Raptor from from the bottom of the tank. I mean, I guess you'd have to have something in there to grab it from the bottom and then move it up to the top. But The plumbing would be interesting, let's put it that way. This might be way too steep, but after the previous time... You could just make the whole back end into a cone. <laughs> Really, really high nozzle ratio, potentially. It would be really fancy if the back end was like variable geometry. Well, that's a little bit too high on the G-Force. That's one problem with SSTOs. You really do need them to throttle or shut off some engines or something. Might be good for space tourism trips. Well, even if we throttle down right to the bottom, it's gonna have trouble keeping this to 4Gs. Now I've got this on the Raptor Future configuration, which gives it a little bit more thrust. But it's still not up to the thrust of what they said for Raptor 3. That even has more thrust. So we could carry more fuel with Raptor 3 and get a little bit more out of it. But then our G-forces here would be even higher. So we're like 1,200 short. Uh, fuel in the service module is not going to help in this case. Let me just see how everything is working up there. I need bigger RCS thrusters if we want to use them like this. Okay, okay, I'm not sold. Alright. Let's compare what happens if we turn this into a straight stack instead of a cone. But I eventually want to make a cone where it's going to be recoverable, the whole thing, instead of having the heat shield here. Uh, Alright. Let's say we make something thinner. Now I haven't gone to the composite tanks or any sort of magic tanks or balloon tanks. Uh, my original thought with this was actually uh, to go with the Atlas tanks, the balloon tanks. That would be easier because uh, Atlas, you could you could turn Atlas into an SSTO. Atlas was practically an SSTO in the first place, the old Atlas of the balloon tanks. So, yeah. It was a thought, and balloon tanks might still be a thing. So yes, I thought about that too. Uh, but, uh, let's see about this. Let's try to do it... Well, let's see what effect it has making it straight like this instead of a cone, so that we see what the effect of using a cone, what the problems are with that. I don't think we, we were quite as heavy as this, so I'll reduce the length a little bit. Alright, so let's try this. SAS on, throttle up, ignition, and launch. And with the little thrust weight ratio we still need to go up a bit before turning. Okay, just try my best to uh, hug prograde here. The actual Dragon spacecraft would be too heavy, by the way. It's about 9 tons. A lot of that is because of the built-in abort system, but also it carries more people. Well, we did get a little bit farther, but not that much farther. About 300 meters per second. So, that's the difference. 
Uh, yeah, not enough. Not enough. Still could be good for a tourist thing in that there's a lot more hang time than, say, from New Shepard or something. But you're not getting the stage back, so that's not nice. Uh, if we were to try to see how much Delta V we get, let's just stick in AJ10190 and change it to that stats. So actually, the service module is getting 866. Uh, maybe we can cut that down even more. We really need little, just little, little tanks. But even, we're still at 30% utilization. That's 400 meters per second. That's pretty standard for low Earth orbit. But that's with this engine. We're just using these RCS thrusters. Maybe we should just have that engine. Uh, somehow, though, that's not gonna be easy. Hmm. But yeah, let's have more powerful RCS. These might be a little bit big. And the RCS thrusters like that are guaranteed to explode, but. We've got some extra delta V like that. But I'm making the rocket a little bit thinner and getting some better sea level thrust to weight ratio. So still just using a single raptor here. That was the spec. We'll go with other variants later. Not really a raptor cone. No, a raptor one then. Okay. Third time. We haven't increased the delta V that much though. So, but but we've improved the thrust weight ratio. We could see what that does for us. Anyway, throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition and launch. All right, through max Q. Okay, throttling down. Well, that didn't help a whole lot. So yeah, um, reducing the service module. I mean. Logically speaking, what we really need is another stage in there, but we're trying to avoid that. And I think the solution is that this is just a little bit too much payload for a single Raptor engine, and so we should have two and we should try for the cone again. I don't think going cylinder versus cone helped that much. So we'll lose a little bit going to the cone, and then we'll try to get a heat shield at the bottom. But that's going to be pretty heavy too. I'll see if we can do it with two Raptors, but I need a custom heat shield for that. I think I have one that I had made for a different purpose, but I'll have to dig it out. I haven't used it in a long time, and I'll probably have to update it because the heat shields work differently now. So, yeah, that is stuff I'll do. But So, for the request for a single Raptor rocket, well, here we go. Uh, th and I'm going to go back to the cone version because I think it's more promising. It's not like a Falcon 1. <laughs> but uh, but it has other other possibilities. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.